Hi, my name is Mike Sigety, and I'm getting ready for the 2011 Erzberg Enduro, and I leave in about uh, 15 days. And today I'm going to show you some of the things that I do, not only for the Erzberg, but uh, for any particular race, to make sure my bike runs cool and uh, doesn't boil out all my fluid and leave me stranded on the side of the trail. Um, there is one thing that actually I do specifically for Erzberg, and we'll discuss that first, is uh, I'm running a uh, radiator fan that you can buy from KTM. Uh, you could actually mount it to any bike because uh, you can mount these fans to your radiators with a radiator fan zip tie mounting kit that takes five minutes to mount and it's really good and a lot of, a lot of people use them in racing applications and they're like five, ten dollars on eBay shift so you can make it fit any bike and uh, I have that mounted to a, uh, a TurnTech uh, battery. They make uh, quite a bit uh, selection of batteries. I'm using actually one that's more powerful than stock. It's actually two and a half amps more powerful than the uh, OEM, and it offers uh, <clears throat> still three quarters of a pound less or weight savings, which is good. They also offer ones that are half the weight of stock, but I'm going with a little higher battery so I can run my fan. I've seen some people try to run uh, uh, computer fans. I've never tried that, but I know what a computer fan can push because I have computers, and it's nothing like this fan. I'll show you how this fan works. You just I mean, you can have a, uh, an inline uh, thermostat to turn on, but I'm going to turn on and show you. This is actually blowing air all the way back here. I can feel the air. It's really moving a lot of air. And uh, that, that's really good when you're not moving. That'll, that'll help a lot. I've tried some tests with it. I haven't been able to make my bike run hot with that fan. Uh, another thing that I do is um, I run uh, fluid iron radiators. And uh, as you can see, they're quite a bit thicker than stock. And in addition to being a lot thicker and cooling a lot better and coming with a heavy duty radiator cap, which you can also use on your bike to keep your bike from boiling over, not necessarily running cooler, uh, but they're super strong. Um, I've actually seen uh, one guy stand on them, he's 230 pounds, and he just put it on, his on edge and it held up fine. I mean, I'll stand on it, but I'm definitely not 230 pounds. I'm probably going to fall on my ass here, but there we go. I'm standing on it and no hands. All right, now I'm falling. So, uh, yeah, they're really strong, and you can see they got some thick protection on either side. And uh, I know there's some other companies making some knockoffs, and uh, I know a friend of mine bought one, and uh, he had a couple issues with fitment. These things weren't facing the right direction, and they were sending his uh, hoses right onto the exhaust, right onto the cylinder. Um, he had to bend tabs around, So, but I know that's never a problem with something like these fluid irons, which are American-made. Uh, <clears throat> another thing that I do is I've tried uh, quite a few different um, radiator fluids. I've tried straight ethylene glycol, I've tried 50-50, I've tried water, water wetter, and um, I was still always able to boil over my fluid. And even with the heavy duty radiator cap, it was a problem. So uh, I got a, uh, a catch tank by RLR that gave me some real nice tanks. And uh, <clears throat> I mounted it behind my uh, headlight. And I, it was nice because I could see as it started to fill up, I knew how hot my bike was running. I knew if I had to start taking it easier on it or, you know, quickly get out of a bad situation. It was like a temp gauge. But that still doesn't make your bike run cooler. It just kind of gives you an idea what's going on and saves your fluid. So a few people told me I should try Evans, and I was always afraid to try it because they told me it was thick and uh, doesn't cool so well. So I stayed away from it. But uh, I have a, a Trail Tech... Uh, inline temp probe that I put in my uh, coolant line and I ended up doing some tests to see how much hotter would my bike run with uh, Evans and to my surprise it was seven degrees cooler than the best radiator fluid I was using at that time. I was really shocked and uh, as far as boiling points go I've never tested its boiling point with the temp gauge but they have some literature here and they claim that the water has a 212 degree boiling point uh, 50 50 between water and ethylene glycol is 255, and the NPGR and the R model, they make a few different models. The R model is what we would use in motorcycles, has a uh, 400 degree boiling point. And uh, that I do believe it's really, really good stuff. And a few people told me they, they don't want to use it because it's $40 a gallon, which is definitely expensive. At first, I was actually splitting it with someone, and they would take a half gallon, I'd take a half gallon. Your bike really only needs a quart, so you got enough to do two, three bikes with just a half gallon. Um, about a quart, but if you look at what they're charging in the you know in the store on the shelves for the other high-end uh, radiator fluids, it's twenty dollars for a half gallon. So it's the same exact price, and uh, obviously it doesn't wear out. You don't lose any. It's really good. There is a procedure to install it, and you should read it. I know a lot of people get really crazy about bleeding everything out of their system, make sure every drop of water is out. I do a pretty good job of it. I've heard of people who just drain your old stuff, pour this in, and go, and it's been fine. 
But uh, yeah, there is a little bit of a procedure that you should try to really get everything out of your system before you put this in some air, maybe start the motor a little bit and run it to boil out anything that might be left with the radiator cap off and no fluid in it. Just run it a little while. But I've been real, real happy with this. And another thing that I do is I, um, I run some uh, VP, VP race fuel. And uh, that has also made my bike run cooler for sure um, and give it a ton more power, which is really nice. I mean, that, that stuff helps a lot. And uh, I've been running their MS series, which they keep upgrading. That's been really good for me. And uh, all those things together, I really never have a boiling over or overheating problem anymore. Um, going to Erzberg is going to be a totally different animal, so we'll see. But if you have any questions, you can email me anytime. Go to my website, MikeSigety, S-I-G-E-T-Y dot com. And if you want to see some more videos, soon we're going to discuss uh, tire balls, uh, radiator protection by Scorpion. Uh, i got all the different left-hand rear brakes here, about three models we're going to try. Uh, you can watch those videos on thumpertalk.com and go to the uh, forums, go to the uh, dirt bike section under uh, pro racing. There's a section for Mike Sigety, er, uh, the uh, Mike Sigety Erzberg experience. And uh, subscribe to that and you'll be updated of more videos. Thanks a lot for watching and my name is Mike Sigety. Take care.